It's the first goal battle day for season 12 and today is episode 11 of our Road to Legend. However, after doing 100 battles within the last uh, few hours, I must say I'm really really exhausted now guys, I'm not joking. Alright, but I'm here to uh, recap 8 of the battles that I've done with... Uh, I guess uh, out of those hundred battles and it's gonna be a long one all right so hi hi to all of you guys so let me go ahead and show you guys that uh, I guess at the very start of the hundred battles I was at 2354 elo I actually did pretty well uh, for one of the sets yesterday and uh, eventually uh, after 12 a.m. I started doing my hundred battles I couldn't finish everything um, at one go so um, I actually uh, played up to 4 a.m. and I did like around 65 or 70 battles. Eventually, I woke up early in the morning, completed the remaining 30 plus battles. But I also had to uh, attend a webinar where I was talking to some students from Philippines, talking to them for an hour and a half um, before I actually have the time right now to actually edit and uh, do this video with you guys. So here we are, I'm actually exhausted but uh, we have 8 battles to uh, check out, alright? So anyway, they're all Go Battle League, Go Ma Go, I mean Master League, alright? So uh, all of them will be um, done in the Master League, like I said, um, since it's a Guzma uh, day. And uh, I'm gonna use this particular team that I've been using in the last season, uh, Metagross with Zacian and also Kyogre. After that, I actually uh, switched out my team and changed it up a bit because the meta has been changing and we actually have a really, really bad lead right now against our very first opponent uh, using a Groudon against my Metagross. And in fact, it's a level 51 uh, Groudon, so that's even worse for us. But Fire Punches are just going to come through. I've actually burned one shield. Kyogre is going to come in. Switching into Lugia, I was thinking if I want to switch into Zacian because my Zacian is not running Wild Charge. It's actually running Play Rough and close combat so i'm gonna go with blizzard first let's see if it's gonna do a huge amount of damage to the lugia or not okay one damage really because it's shielded that but we are up two shields gonna shoot the very first charge move and it is arrow blast luckily we shielded that up otherwise we're gonna suffer a lot of damage from that so um, in the last season, I actually used Zacian a lot and I did say that I actually do play better in the Master League. However, I guess after being exhausted uh, the whole day and then after that having to uh, need to play 100 battles is just super duper tiring. I took a nap, an hour and a half nap before I actually started my 100 battles. So I was a bit more refreshed, however, uh, still wasn't refreshed enough. And like I said, because the meta has been changing, a lot of people have access to level 50 Groudon and Kyogre right now as compared to previous season. Um, it's kind of different and also uh, people are using Zacian a lot also because uh, people have access to it being at level 50 or so. So it's going to bring it a mellow weather in this situation, actually uh, going with a uh, play rough or Pa, what do you call it? Or close combat might be a good option as both does neutral damage. But we're gonna bring in Kyogre to try and farm down the Mellow Weather. Mellow Weather is gonna use a side shock, which isn't gonna to do too much damage to us, but almost knocking us out. We're gonna go with another surf right now, which will knock out the Mellow Weather. So Mellow Weather, we being a normal and psychic typing Pokemon, is only weak to one typing, and that is dark typing moves. Alright, Lugia is gonna be back, but my Zacian is back with not a lot of energy. We're gonna try and get to our charge move, but we didn't need to. Snarl was enough to take out the Lugia. And that was the very first battle. So uh, the thing that I want to mention is that uh, according to PV Poke, Zacian is recommended to use Quick Attack. But I'm not using that because uh, against Giratina or in fact against Dialgia, actually Snow actually does more damage. Though both of them kind of charges up energy relatively the same. Alright, first... Uh First opponent using Mewtwo against us, Shadow Ball landed on our Metagross which is very bad because uh, it, it almost knocked us out but I don't normally shoot the very first uh, move and then I'm uh, trying to get to a second Meteor match which I can get to if I were to shoot this otherwise a side strike is going to take us out but we're going to get to another second Meteor match let's see if we can burn two shields or not and the answer is Yes, alright, so two shields out, gonna bring in Kyogre, Kyogre is just gonna farm down Mewtwo, gonna shield up against the side strike because side strike from Mewtwo is just insane, it does so much damage to us, and he's gonna bring in uh, Dialgia, which, um, you know, not many people knows that I'm actually running a Blizzard 
for my Kyogre, so that's gonna do a lot of damage to the Dialgia. In fact, it's gonna one shot KO the Dialgia already as it's down to uh, low health. Actually, not one shot, but almost taking it out. Alright, one more Waterfall is gonna be enough to take out the Dialgia. Iron Head is gonna come through first, gonna farm it down, and let's see if we can actually fire off another Surf against the next. Pokemon is Zacian that's coming in. We have served, but we do not have a lot of health on our Metagross, which is kind of unfortunate. Otherwise, that's the best option to use to fight against the Zacian. But it's okay, we are doing a lot of damage. It's down to roughly a quarter health. We're going to bring our very own Zacian and switch over the Metagross to catch the charge move. Play Rough is going to be activated, and we're going to go ahead to bring back our Zacian again to use our very own Play Rough against the Zacian, but not before we get hit by another Play Rough first. So, uh, for those of you who have been playing your 100 battles, for a go battle day you guys can know how exhausting it is it took me roughly six and a half hours to finish all the battles it's just super duper insanely tiring but um, of course it's definitely fun also all right took down the uh, Mewtwo we're gonna go ahead with play rough because we cannot reach the play rough in time before another charge move comes in from our opponent could be a wild charge so let's go ahead with that taking out disaster and we scored another win all right so we're gonna go into the next battle right now, and that's gonna be against Masukudo. Alright, and Masukudo is using Mewtwo. Yeah, a lot of people are using Mewtwo, Zacian, Groudon, etc. In fact, I've also encountered people using Ho, and Ho is one of the Pokemon that I hate fighting against because it's just super duper strong. I kind of regretted not grinding hard enough for Candy XL for that. Otherwise, I'll definitely use that as a level 50 ho to, um, you know, just uh, take on Pokemon in the Master League. So we're going to go with uh, Earthquake right now, but Earthquake is going to be shielded up. We're going to not shield this at all. If it's Draco Meteor, it's totally fine, but it's an Iron Head. And we're going to survive that. We're going to be able to get to another Earthquake if we shield up the next Iron Head. And we do, we're going to go ahead to... Uh, see that the next earthquake is also going to burn the next shoe which is awesome so my opponent is out of shoes we are up one shoe which is good for us we're gonna bring in Zacian which then the close combat will knock out the DLG one hit KO onto it all right so uh, Zacian is still a very very strong Pokemon to use unfortunately uh, in certain situations it's not that good at all all right in this situation against Mewtwo I need to shoot up against the side strike otherwise it's gonna take us out as we have already been debuffed after using the close combat we're gonna go with play rough but it's still not gonna be enough to take out the Mewtwo as it does half health damage to a level 50 Mewtwo all right and then uh, we're gonna get taken out by a side strike like I said it's gonna knock us out totally as uh, the debuff is just a uh, not gonna let us survive that anymore. We're gonna bring in Kyogre, but he brought in a Giratina, which is kind of okay for us. We're gonna have to eat one Shadow Ball first before we use our Blizzard onto the Giratina. So this Giratina is actually a level 50 Hundo Giratina. It's a Shando, as you guys can see, 4164. And it's the same one that I actually have. I actually use Giratina later on a bit for some of the battles. And uh, yeah, I was so close to not getting to the Shadow Ball as I was, I think, just two Shadow Claws away from being taken out. Blizzard is going to take it out. We're going to try and bring back our Metagross. Try and bring back the Metagross. Metagross, come on, go. Take out the Mewtwo. Side Strike is here, guys. We ain't going to survive this. No way, man. Despite it being double resisted, right? Metagross got taken out with just one sliver of health left on the Mewtwo. That was very, very close. Next battle against Amicurus 2, and uh, she's using Togekiss. So I decided to bring in Giratina. Like I said, bringing in Groudon also. Unfortunately, I had a really, really bad lead. So one thing I will say though, I do not know why, but my luck was so bad during all these battles that a lot of the time that my lead was just so bad that I get kept getting countered this and that. In fact, later towards the end when I started using a team of uh, Kyogre, Mewtwo and also Shadow Mamoswine, I encountered two people for the first two battles with Zarud. So um, Zarud actually takes on my entire team with those uh, Pokemon that I've just mentioned but yeah, it's just really really unfortunate. I see it. One health left on the DL. Okay, I managed to get to his Iron Head, but we're not going to suffer the damage. We're going to go ahead to use our Earthquake on the Kyogre. Now the question is, are we going to switch our Pokemon? And the answer is yes, because Giratina fares better against the uh, Kyogre. Unfortunately, she's going to bring back a Togekiss, which obviously is going to take us out also. So we're going to go with another Shadow Ball this time. Alright, Shadow Ball is going to do half health damage to a Togekiss, but we're going to go with 
ominous win provided we actually survive this and we do because none of the moves will actually knock out Giratina at this range um, other than maybe Dazzling Gleam which is super duper hard to get to as it requires so much energy to use Ominous Wind is going to knock out the uh, Togekiss after one more Shadow Claw Kyogre is back so the problem is our Groudon is super duper weak Alright so we're going to go with double uh, Fire Punches after doing 4 uh, Mud Shots and uh, burning the first shield, let's go ahead to see if it's enough to actually knock out the Kyogre. Just a little bit more damage is needed and the problem is it is not enough. We got knocked out by the uh, Waterfall and the Kyogre survived with maybe 2.5 HP. Alright, going to the next battle against King Wizard IY. And we're going to use our Metagross again. I decided to switch my team up again. So all these battles are actually in order in terms of like the first to the second to the third. And then following on, obviously I'm not showing you guys 100 battles, but it's basically in the order. You guys can see the time on the top left of the screen. It's at roughly uh, 2 or 3 a.m. already and I was so tired but I knew that I had to clock in all the battles otherwise uh, when I wake up the next day I wouldn't have much time to do so I'm gonna use a Meteor Mesh to try and take out the uh, Givalto however I was trying to catch the Dark Pulse unfortunately the Zacian wasn't able to do so we're gonna go with double close combats against the Metagross alright so uh, Metagross is doing very well against um, this current meta Unfortunately, uh, when you face up against someone who's using Kyogre, it's not going to perform well in this meta also. So, um, a lot of people are using Zacian. Like I said, it's very good to use uh, Metagross to fight against it. And uh, we're going to go ahead with our Groudon. Meteor Mesh is going to come in. That's going to be shielded, but we are left with no shield. So, this Meteor Mesh is going to hit hard. Taking our health down to roughly 60% left. And we're going to go with our Fire Punch ASAP. And he brought in a Yvalto. The Yvalto is going to do it. It's Dark Pulse, which is very bad for us, but we're able to survive that one health left. We're going to go with the Fire Punch, pull an immediate switch into Metagross and get to our Meteor Mesh in time before a Dark Pulse comes in enough to do so. Three Pokemon left for him though, so that's not good for us. Alright, so um, the Metagross is left with a little bit of health, which is okay for us. But the next Pokemon, the Mel Metal, has so much health left. But we have Earthquake almost ready, but we have to take one Super Power first. Super Power is going to almost knock us out. Okay, but not to worry. We're going to go with Earthquake. This will knock out the uh, Mel Metal. One shot KO it. And then we're going to see the Metagross come back in. And we're going to try and farm down the uh, Metagross with our Bullet Punches. Unfortunately, he was able to get to... His Meteor Mesh in time and I was thinking, okay, we should be able to take down the uh, Metagross, right? No, we got knocked out by one Bullet Punch and we lost with one fast move again. That was so sad to see, but we're going to go into the next battle against Euro Europe Onek, alright? Metagross against, against Mewtwo. This battle actually is really interesting, as you guys will see later on. Uh, like I said, sometimes I don't shield the very first charge move that comes in from Mewtwo. Not shielding this charge move was actually a bad option because it's a Shadow Ball. So Shadow Ball is going to take out so much health from our Metagross. We're going to go with Meteor Mesh. Most people actually do shield their Mewtwo against a Meteor Mesh as a Meteor Mesh damage just is so insanely high. Too bad I don't have my Kyogre right now, otherwise I'll pull in immediate switch into it to fight against the Landorus. So we're going to bring in our Groudon to try and fire punch the Landorus. However, I kind of think that I should have brought in Zacian instead. Super Power is going to come in. Alright, Fire Punch is going to do more damage. Going to let two Super Power go in. Saving the two shields for my Zacian. Alright, thinking that is a better option in this situation right now. We're going to go with the double Fire Punches. It's not going to be enough with just one Fire Punch as a Landorus is... Uh, not weak to fire at all. Gonna go with a second fire punch right now, and uh, this will be enough to take out the Landorus. So take note that we are up one shield against our opponent who's left with one shield also. Uh, Yvalto is in, so that's very good for us. Yvalto is very weak against Zacian, other than if you have an Yvalto with Hurricane. I actually encountered one person using Hurricane and actually did like roughly 70 plus percent damage onto my Zacian and I was kind of surprised but I was still managed I still managed to overcome that particular uh, battle. Alright but I don't think I showed that one here. I don't think it's this one also. Alright, Mewtwo, I have to double shield against the Mewtwo. My Mewtwo side strike will just do so much damage to us. So I didn't have to worry about the Yvalto at all because the Yvalto uh, Dark Pulse or in fact Focus Blast will be resisted by the fairy typing of Zacian. Knocked out the uh, Mewtwo. But I think this might be the one, man. This might be the one with the Hurricane. I think only. I think. Is it the Hurricane one? And it is. It is the Hurricane one. I thought I didn't add that into 
the clip man all right we're gonna go with our play rough this will bring the health of the Yvalto down to red health and uh, we're gonna go with our fast moves switching into Groudon trying to catch the charge move unfortunately wasn't able to but it's totally fine we have just one more charge move to get to and that is close combat once we get to close combat it will be enough to knock out the Yvalto and uh, great man that's how good uh, Zacian is I can't imagine when Zacian actually gets its uh, hero form because uh, is it a crown form crown form hero form uh, this is the hero form right the crown form that's when uh, it has another typing steel typing or steel and fairy typing it just makes it even more insane because it become weak to ground but still the resistance will be even even crazier so yeah against a player who is using ho -Oh, and in fact this ho -Oh is not just a regular shiny ho -Oh. 4367 is a shando ho -Oh, oh my god Alright, using Sacred Fire. Sacred Fire is such a good move as it doesn't require a lot of energy to get to. I'm gonna use a I hate. I could have actually gone with a Draco Meteor. That would have one shot KO the whole. Or oh, unfortunately, I chose the wrong move, but it's totally fine. We're gonna double shield our deal okay, here. Is it the right play? I'm not too sure. Let's see how things goes. We're gonna farm down the whole. Oh, two shields left for my opponent, though. Very bad situation for us. We're gonna have to use double iron hits as quickly as possible. Zashin is using. Uh, quick attack so you guys can see some people are using quick attack some people are using snarl for Zacian I'm still using snarl second iron hit comes through which will be shielded, shielded up which is great so we burn two shields already with just our Dialga and uh, we're gonna get hit by the close combat man close combat is gonna knock us out in fact play rough is gonna be enough to knock us out also since we are left with such uh, little health gonna bring in Mewtwo's hopefully we can get a side strike in unfortunately she brought in Yvalto which is a good thing for us because our Mewtwo is running focus blast which will deal a good amount of neutral damage to um, the Yvalto look at that boom okay great but the problem is <laughs> the Dark Pulse came in I was thinking to switch into Giratina because Giratina can still survive one Dark Pulse one from an Yvalto uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to switch in time and uh, we're gonna have to take one more Dark Pulse already before we get to an ominous win alright so uh, that's really really unfortunate we're gonna have to uh, get to the ominous win now take out the Yvalto and hopefully we can get to a Shadow Ball in time uh, before anything happens alright one Shadow Claw went through but the problem is she got to a charge move first, wild charge, and the question, can I get to a shadow ball? Yes, I do tap on it, but we lost CMP tie. Alright, wild charge or whatever that's going to come in is going to knock us out even at close combat, because at that range, I'm just left with a sliver of health. Even one fast move is going to knock us out already. So that was quite unfortunate. We're going to go into the next battle, and that's against Joe 8 Gillian. I believe this is the last battle already against a Zacian. So you guys can see, I just swapped my team out. The Kyogre, Mewtwo, and Memo Swine team. My Shadow Memo Swine. So I decided to use this team um, again because I've used this before in the past in Season 10. I actually like this team a lot. It pushed me up to like 2,600 plus uh, ELO. So I thought maybe this would work out well. The problem about most of my battles are when I switch my team out totally and play one set, I do well. Like maybe score 4, 1 or 5 nail. But the next set when I play again with the same team, for some good reason, I score 1, 4 or 0, 5. And it comes back to the same and I break even and like, oh my god, like I did so well and then eventually it went down. Then I will continue the team again for a third set and I'll lose everything again. So it's like going up and down, up and down. But I basically lost more than I won in terms of ELO. Anyway, back to the battles, you guys can see the Mewtwo is doing a lot of work burning the shields doing a lot of damage to Kyogre also almost gonna take out the Kyogre if this goes unshielded let's see if the side strike is gonna land no all right we're gonna try and get to another side strike but the Zacian is back in this is gonna knock us out we are not able to switch out to another Pokemon already but we're gonna bring in our Kyogre our Memoswine I believe so all right Memoswine is gonna tr be able to farm down the Zacian not before we get hit by a charge move and uh, I think it's the wild charge because I knew my opponent did not have uh, close combat anymore after using the wild charge against my Kyogre uh, bringing in the uh, Kyogre we're gonna go with our Budos this will knock out the Kyogre alright and the problem is the last Pokemon is a Groudon is it enough is it enough is it enough for us no we have to actually catch a fire punch if the fire punch actually landed on our Shadow Memo Swine we would have gotten taken out alright we're gonna go with the Avalanche right now and with the amount of health that this Shando Groudon has 
it's enough. It's a Shadow Memo Swine. It's gonna one shot KO the Groudon. It was a very close call. Lucky was able to catch that Fire Punch and that scored us a win. But after doing all those battles, all right, we managed to complete this time research, claiming all that for the Guzma uh, style gloves or something like that. All right, but we are not done. We are still gonna uh, check out that. My ratings went all the way down. To 2,182 from 2,300. My god, after doing all those 100 battles, it was just so exhausting, but uh, it was even more exhausting to see that my ratings went down, reached the maximum number of battles for today. But it's okay, Master League is still available for the next few days. Hopefully, I can climb back up again. I'm still going to probably use this team that I used for the last battle, the Kyogre, Mewtwo, and Mamoswine team. Uh, if I can't really play too well with it, maybe I have to switch out again. The meta has been changing so much. It's so much different as compared to Season 11 or Season 10. I did play a bit during Season 11, but I did not push hard. Um, like I said, it's so much different, especially when people have access to Level 50 Kyogre and Level 50 Groudon now. Yeah, I did try out Dragonite also, despite it being rank 2 and rank 3 according to PV Pope. It's not that great as it's not as tanky as something like a Giratina. So I kind of don't really like to use uh, Dragonite at all. Alright, so uh, that's all from me. From all the 100 battles that I've done for today during this Guzma day, it was really, really exhausting. But not to worry, there'll be another Go Battle Day soon. That is the Mail Tank Day. I'm not sure if all of us have to use Mil Tank or not, man. That would be kind of ridiculous. But all I can uh, say is that the reward for Mil Tank, uh, I don't think I like it. Yeah, I don't think I like it. Though it has a new fast move rollout, allowing it to charge energy really, really quickly. Alright, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like on the video. We much appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.